What made you want to do this? Well, I just really want to become more independent. So it's about independence? Yeah. And, and strong. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you see that somebody in the outdoors is strong and independent? Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Now, you seem a bit, like, twitchy. Um, I just, like, keep hearing things rustling in the leaves. So... Like animals. I just hate birds a lot. Why? They're just disgusting. Right, so it's more of a, oh my god, they're nasty. Oh, they're well, nasty. yeah, but I'm also <laughs> scared that they're gonna, like, come and get me. What would they do with you? Peck you. <laughs> <laughs> They'd peck you to death. Hopefully, if we're out here enough, you'll just get used to them and they won't be so much of an issue. The hardest obstacle that I think Emma has to overcome is really going to be herself. I don't think she's ever had to really push herself hard to achieve something. At the end of the day, she's only going to be out of count on her. I needed to be able to kayak four miles across the lake, so Kai had me test the waters. I need to know that you can get out of these boats if you happen to go upside down. So the way this drill's going to work, you're going to tip yourself over until you go completely under the water. Well, I can't go upside down underwater. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I really can't. It what? gets in my ears. It's going to get in your ears. It's going to get up your nose. It's going to get everywhere. I can't go upside down, though. You have to go upside down. Mm -hmm. I need to know that you can capsize this boat. I don't want to go upside down. You're either going to do it by yourself or I'm going to tip you. I'm not doing it. I heard the screeching birds and knew that Kai wanted me to face one of my biggest fears. Well, I'm sure you can hear in the background the sound of merrily squawking birds. Mm -hmm. So where I've brought you today is to a place called Birds of a Feather. Now this guy trains exotic birds for some of the biggest bird shows in the world. This is all about looking at your fears and looking at what you don't like and challenging yourself. You know, one of the things that I'm here to work with you about is confronting things that you don't want to do and doing them. Just move on to the next thing. Please stop being disrespectful I'm to not being man. disrespectful to him. I'm being annoyed that you're making me do stuff I don't want to do. You know what? Hold that inside. Be annoyed at me later. Please show this man some respect. Hi, Martha. Hi. When Emma and I came camping before, I taught her how to do a lot of skills out here. So I want to see if Emma can pass those skills on to you. You guys need to work as a team to complete these tasks. So the very first one is you guys have three tents that you need to set up. I asked her to work with Maddie to put up some tents and um, she didn't want to do it. It was kind of shocking and disappointing for me to see the way she dealt with working with Maddie. First thing I'm going to say is you need to change your attitude. Okay, I'm here to help you to make some changes in your life and I'm tired of seeing you pout today. This is about learning. It's about learning about yourself and it's about learning how you deal with challenges. And right now you are not dealing with this challenge. Like I just put up three tents. You know what? You did it with the worst attitude I've seen a child put up three tents with. Okay, I know you can do this stuff. And I really enjoy the time that we spend together, but right now I'm not enjoying this. Because you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. You've got an attitude yourself. You know, we're here, we cannot change that. We're here till tomorrow morning. So I would like if you would relax, chill out, and start to enjoy this experience with us, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at building a fire. <laughs> Your safety goals on. Now, what do you remember about the fire? Start small. There we are. Look at that. So, today's the big day. I believe you can do it. So, I want to see you shine. Yeah. And I want to see you shine not only in your physical ability. I want to see you do this with grace, and I want to see you do this with, you know, strength yeah. and leadership. Me too. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Well, let's get this event going and do me proud out there, girl. All right. It was harder than I expected or I've ever done before. I'm really proud you didn't give up. This is the time when you got to dig deep. I know your legs are going to be tired. I know it's going to be hard. Take your time on the way down and I'm going to see you on the other end, okay? Can't do two miles up. I know this is a really hard moment for you right now. I can't do two miles up. This is what we work for. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Can you believe you just did that? It was the hardest kayak you've ever done, it was the hardest hike you've ever done, and it was the most extreme mountain bike you've ever done. And you just did them all back to back for nine hours and 35 minutes. I think you can officially call yourself an adventure racer after that. Yeah, I think so. Too. Well done. I think Emma did an amazing job today. I expected that Emma would complete this event in under six hours. But even though it took nine and a half hours, the very fact that she kept at it, I see that as the biggest success I could have asked for. My goal for Emma was to turn a helpless princess into an independent, strong, capable leader. And I truly believe that both Emma and I reached our goals.